Start with some good long, deep in and out breaths. To give the mind a place where it can stay established. In Pali, when they talk about focusing on an object, the analogy they use is not focusing light as when we focus the eyes. It's getting established, settling in. The object is your support. To try to take the breath as your support. All too often we think that when we're told to keep the breath in mind as we go through the day, that's just one more thing we have to juggle of all our responsibilities and involvements of the day. But instead, think of it as a place where you can stand. If you have to juggle, stand on something solid. Don't stand on something that moves around a lot. The breath comes in, the breath goes out. It's still here in the body. It's not the case that all the breath goes out of the, when you breathe out. There's still breath energy in the body. Try to stay in touch with that. Sometimes it's too much to be aware of in or out of the breath, but think of the quality of the breath energy in the different parts of the body. Because breath is a potential everywhere in the body, what they call the datu in Pali. It can be translated as element, it can also be translated as property. But they act as potentials. There's a potential for breath, there's a potential for warmth everywhere in the body, a potential for coolness everywhere, a potential for solidity. So for the time being, make sure that the breath potential is well adjusted, not too heavy, not too light. Of all the different properties in the body, it's the one that's most responsive to ideas coming out of the mind. So think whole body breathing in, whole body breathing out. And it will actually change what you sense in terms of the breath energy. That's adjusting the potential. So, and then you make it just right. And then try to maintain that sense of just rightness as you go through the day. You notice when anger comes up or anxiety comes up, there'll be a tightening in the breath, someplace in the body. If you're sensitive to that, you can disperse it. You find that you're carrying around a lot less. Otherwise, anger comes through and you tighten up here. Anxiety comes through, you tighten up there. By the end of the day, you're all nuts. But if you can untie the knots as soon as they form, then at the end of the day you don't have anything that you have to carry around. No unnecessary burdens. Because that's what the Dharma is all about, it's finding where we're placing unnecessary burdens on ourselves. Unnecessary suffering and pain. And we learn how to stop that. And we find out that the unnecessary stuff is the only stuff that really weighs the mind down. The necessary stresses of life, the fact that we live in a world where things change. That doesn't have to weigh the mind down unless we bring it in, carry it, try to carry it around ourselves. So here's one way of practicing that, noticing when you're placing undue pressures anywhere in the body, okay, lighten up. Whether it's a tightness or a tension, lighten up. Disperse it, let it dissolve. This becomes a place where you can settle in and stand. It becomes your support. And then it's for another responsibilities you have to juggle. You're standing on something solid. It's a lot easier to juggle when you're standing on something solid. So keep this image in mind, so that the breath doesn't become just one more duty or one more responsibility. It becomes your friend, your support. That enables you to deal with whatever else comes your way.